So we're off out. My hair is looking fab. I feel very 70s. We are going to the gym. Well, I'm going to the gym. Alex can walk Roxy in the rain. I've still got my pajama top on. <laughs> That's a Christmas t shirt. It's fine, yeah. And then MS. <coughs> and we'll see. We do have to get the present today, though. The present? The present. I can't say it in the video because people watch. So yeah, that's the plan. We are actually ordering our Christmas vegetables from Riverford because we had some credit on there because lots of you lovely people use my discount code, which I'll actually link it below. So if you sign up to Riverford, do you get 15 pounds or your first box or something? I, it's one of those two. I'll leave the details below, but it means when you do that, I get some credit. I think it's I get 15 pounds, I think, maybe. I think it's you yeah. get 15 pounds, I get 15 I pounds. Think so. it probably says. And so that. I've been saving that for Christmas. We've got our Christmas slot on the 23rd, I think, for the Riverford delivery for all our veg. And I've ordered a nut roast because I, this just, it's been, you know, it's been busy and my book is coming out and I wanted to simplify this Christmas as we're hosting. So I'm not gonna be cooking my nut roast. I do have a nut roast though that I do make every year. I'll link it below if you wanna make it. And also my cookbook, Make It Vegan. I have a beetroot wellington, which is in the intro. So um, a lot of you have said that your books have arrived. So if you pre-order, you may get your book early. You may get it in time for Christmas. I think Waterstones in particular has been sending them out early. I so, guess, because it's like, they have to send it out before Christmas, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise yeah. it might not arrive yeah. or release them. So, you lucky ones who pre-ordered have got the book already for Christmas present. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we've ordered a nut roast and I've also ordered like a little um, salad box for Boxing Day so I can make a salad and a coleslaw what? kit. Um, and Alex is going to make some bread and we'll have leftovers. I've also made an order on the vegan kind. I'll link that below. I don't know if they're still taking orders for Christmas and I'm really hoping that it's going to arrive before Christmas. You should ordered it at the weekend. I know, but like I worry. It didn't give any indication. Well, ah, I think with those ones, like because it's chilled goods, they, they have to use send quite it. a quick courier. So it yeah. should, there's no reason why it wouldn't turn up. So we ordered basically our vegan cheese on there because I feel like at this point, every supermarket has great vegan cheese and we've tried them all and it's not as exciting. So I wanted to try some sort of artisan, smaller company owned cheeses. So like the Kind of Co. And there was another one. Maybe when it arrives, I will make sure I get some pictures so in the new year I can show you because I'm not going to vlog. Or oh, if it arrives this week, I'll show you. And we also got um, some Booja Booja chocolate, some Booja Booja vanilla ice cream and I think some vanilla oat oatly cream. Oh yeah. Do you remember when Booja Booja chocolate ice cream was like the only... Was the only vegan chocolate well, yeah, ice cream, yeah. The, the, yes, basically. It's great as well, Booja Booja, if you are someone who's conscious of ingredients, their ingredient lists are amazing because it's literally just like, just chocolate, coconut, Cashew. um, cashews. Water. I don't even think it has coconut. Salt. Very, very beautiful like ingredient four list. Four ingredients, yeah. yeah, and it's honestly, I think it is the best vegan ice cream in my opinion because it doesn't taste too like sweet. It just tastes luxurious. It's very expensive, so we, generally speaking, only have it at Christmas it's, and maybe it's my not birthday or like. That much more than like Ben and Jerry's. No, honestly, I'm not a massive ice cream person, so it's not like no. I'm desperate for ice cream. 
if you were wondering, lots of people do ask me if I have a totally vegan Christmas. We don't. Our family is split in half and I am more diplomatic with the way I approach veganism in that my family would, I feel like they would understand, but also I feel like it would cause a little bit of a rift if I was to suggest that I'm not gonna allow them to eat what they want on Christmas. Like I know that obviously your dad eats meat, so does my mum, and then my brother and brother-in-law and sister also eat meat. They're not eating Christmas with us this year dinner because they have like half and half at their family. So this year they're eating Christmas dinner with my brother-in-law's family. Um, but for example, like last year, it was kind of like half people who eat meat, and then we're vegan. Your brother's pescatarian, and my dad's essentially pescatarian, and so it's kind of like half and half. So the way that we do it is that each year I've got my mum to buy what she would like to eat. So she's got a turkey crown or pigs in blankets or whatever. Um, and she takes care of that so that it's, it's not gonna cause problems between the family. Obviously I find it a bit uncomfortable. I don't love it. However, I just think that, I don't know. I don't want to ruin people's Christmas, you know? And I and like my mum gets it from Riverford, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Um, so she gets it organic, free range. But like, I just, I know that it's very controversial and lots of people are divided and I know lots of vegans wouldn't, wouldn't do that. And that's, I understand that totally. But I think the older I get, the more I think you have to kind of weigh up what people want. And I just think if I... I just, everyone's different. Depends on you, depends on your family. Yeah. Anyway, I'm literally at the gym. Gotta stop talking now. Time for the gym. That was a great workout using Copilot as per. Very funny, look at this man. I actually smell like lavender because of my lovely deodorant. When I was exercising, I was like, ooh, that smells nice. Um, so. <laughs> you know, we're M&S and this looks like carnage. It's 11 on a Tuesday, why is it so busy? I guess everyone's off for Christmas. Kids are off, aren't they? <sighs> Gosh, are we gonna go in there and it's gonna be empty? Well, I think it's better to go today than any other day. BMW is leaving, or is he parking? Always oh, leaving. And what's this guy doing? Got my Huel protein. Is this Huel? No. Well, we run out of Huel. Yeah. Okay, this is form nutrition. But we need to order Can some. You move the thing, sorry. Right in the way. Oh, the we, we need to order some more Huel. Oil. Get another free T-shirt. I actually love that new cars have all these little notifications. I find it so helpful. Yeah. You only get a free t-shirt with a new customer order. Oh. I could do with a new, well, I've got two. They're very good. Do you know how much I see people wearing them? It's such yeah, good advertising so because Huel, right? I have ordered from people before who've given you a t-shirt, but it's not been very good quality. Yeah. And then I've not, not ended up wearing it. Whereas the Huel t-shirts, I swear, aren't they organic cotton or they're like 100% um, cotton? 
don't know. I know like they have their website where they just sell like Huel clothes. But you get it with your all, first order. I think that's why like, everyone's wearing them. They're either like 100% cotton, like GOTS cotton. Um, so they might be organic as well, but I was... Organic is GOTS. Oh, is it? Okay, well, there you go. That's, yeah, that's, that's what global for, organic textile yeah. standard. Yeah, I'm an idiot, yes. No, so, you're not. <laughs> Sixty mistake. Yes, yeah, surprisingly nice, and it's like a little bit stretchy. Yeah, it's a little bit stretchy, and it's really comfy. So I think that's the best advertising because they've yeah. made a T-shirt that is they give out for free, and then people actually wear it because it's comfy. And most blokes don't give a crap what they're wearing; they yeah. just put on whatever what's comfy. Yeah. If they're like Alex, and I see so many people in the gym, so many. People, I saw someone on the train the other day wearing one. Yeah. And I yeah, just I think it's because they're like it's a simple black T-shirt. It's really comfy. If I had a company, I would do that. I'd steal that marketing it's technique. Good, it's a good idea. It's really yeah. good. Because then you're like, what's Huel? We've got a little wet puppy in the back. Oh, so this is our little car thing. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it. What's the brand? Wuglow. But you can probably get loads of different kinds from for different styles. I liked this one because it's black and white and it's very easy to put in because you just strap it around the headrests here and here. And then it unzips at every corner. And then in this corner, it unzips, well basically it unzips so you can put a plug in. So you can see there's a little plug, so she's attached. And this is from, where's this from Alex? You remember it's the Dandy Dog Company? Yep. And it, we love this because it's um, soft and it, you can put it in the wash and you can also use it just on the back seat on its own. And so she's safe in her box, plugged in, but also it means our lovely um cream seats do not get dirty ever and our car stays clean because she's contained to this little area and we always bring a towel with us look how neat your little feet look together little bobby did you have a fun time did daddy take you to the beach was it fun yes i kind of want some christmas pajamas oh my gosh look they're making their own version of udi's <gasps> Wow, it's like a cape. That's clever. M&S really do like the best pajamas. Oh my gosh. That feels like heaven on earth. Oh my gosh, why is it a size six? Look, it's got a little sausage dog on it. Really like this. That looks so comfy. Oh my gosh, that material. What a dream. I reckon most of their Christmas pyjamas are out of stock by now because everyone will have been on it. Don't you think? <laughs> their Christmas pyjamas probably all gone by now. Maybe. Asta had some. Did they? No. I don't really want to buy from Asta. <laughs> well, it'll be, I mean, I, I know M&S has some work to do, but they at least do try. They've got plain ones here though, look. Just like, that one on the mannequin there. Not that festive though, is it? No. So you don't want disco ho ho? <laughs> no. I almost like this, but I don't know if I'd want to wear this in front of people because it's like nighty. <laughs> this could be you. No, I just wanted, do you know what I just wanted? I just wanted a classic tartan like this. Long sleeve, like just tartan set of pajamas. Alex, feel these. I wonder if they've got men's. Let's go look at the men's because I could just get a men's set. What? That stretches 360 degrees. What does that even mean? I don't know, because normally things only stretch two ways, but this stretches every, every way. Let's look at your edition for today. If anyone knows the reference, write it below. I see tartan. Do they have red tartan? This is quite festive. Oh, they've got just like the trousers. Well, the ones I had on earlier. My yeah. PJs, my tartan ones. I'm always thinking that this is probably the way to go for me because I'm so tall that pajamas are quite literally never long enough on me. And I don't know why I've not thought of this before, just to go, oh my God, I literally want that. I think someone left the comment to me. They said, why don't you just buy like men's trousers or men's things because you're taller. Oh my gosh, why don't they come with the top though? Because men don't want matching Oh, that's, I hate that material. That makes me feel ill. Oh my gosh, look how suave this is. Little polka dot 
dressing gown. Extra large, but oh no. Do you not hate that material though? It's not nice. I don't know what it is. Just it, it's the sort of material that will become worse and worse over time. Okay, so I found these sets, but I want a red one. But maybe a green one is good enough. Oh, no, these are the ones my dad bought when he was. Uh... Can we get a matching pair? Yes, please. For Christmas Day. Would I be? We have to brush them every day. I don't know whether I would want large or medium. Just go with large to be safe, right? Oh, XL, I think. Um, does it say size waist to you? Tell well, it's different for women because your waist is your actual waist, whereas for men it's your hips. Tell the viewers, what's your waist? I have no idea. Tell me your measurements. What's your bust? No, but waist for men is different because it's a hip measurement, whereas for women it's a, a waist measurement. So what's your hip measurement? It's different because they won't quite sit on your hips. It's like probably somewhere in between. Okay, what's add them together and divide by two. Very good. What have you got? I think large will do. Here's a trick for, for testing size for trousers. If it's right, just so you take the trousers and then you wrap it around your neck circumference. And oh, God, can you take my? Shopping in a big coat because it's cold. So you do this. I want it to be baggy. I don't like it when things are fitted. It's the only colour you like. Well, oh, wait, a, there's an Let's get one of each and then we can okay. swap them if they're wrong. But we, would we just have the same colour together? Yes, matching. <laughs> I'm very happy with that because I realised as well that those pyjamas aren't so seasonal. So I can wear them throughout winter. Whereas if you've got the ones with the Christmas slogans, you can only really wear them at Christmas time. But I can wear them January, February, October, November. They look very soft, flannel. What goodies do they have then? Stuffed vegan turkey joint. That looks so good. Maybe I should get this. They've got a roast butternut squash spinach pie. And then, oh, that's vegetarian. Mini no chicken Kievs. I think this is definitely one to get. They have pigs in duvets and pigs in blankets. How amazing. I think I'm going to get a few of these because these will get eaten. Oh, look, and then they've got stuffing yes so we've got the whole plant kitchen selection in there just to save me having to cook because I'm tired of cooking <laughs> whoa that's really spin that was really successful I think we spent 100 pounds I'll show you all the vegan bits I got because that has made my life so much easier I think I said this this morning that previous years maybe I've made a few more things but I am just in the mindset that I just don't want to put the pressure on myself and I'm going to say this to you as well if you feel that pressure to like make things from scratch or like do this whole thing you don't need to like there's so many great alternatives now for vegans and easy things you can just buy in the shop obviously it'd be better to make it yourself and I lo would love to be in a dream world where I was the perfect homemaker woman who could just make everything from scratch and generally speaking I do do that this year it's just I don't know why I'm justifying it but I suppose I'm justifying it in case any of you feel the same that you feel that you feel this pressure especially because I guess what I do online I feel a pressure to like show that I'm making everything from scratch and it's just like not this time hun i don't know how many people realistically make those things probably nobody like why am i thinking that people do i don't think anyone makes canapes i think people just buy them so we've got the the fun canapes multi-packs of crisps just to snack on and m&s do the best crisps we've got some orange juice for our um mimosas in the morning we've got some pistachios i mean i'll show you when i get home did i'm reading this out but so i just picked one of these up and laughed and alex said why do you like them is it because it looks like you yeah. Like Looks more like you because you've got the beard and the big nose. Yeah, when you put your like hair up there over your head. <laughs> no, this one looks like you. Yeah. Look at this one. Because you've got grey hairs. <laughs> this one looks like you and your skinny legs. 
Fair enough. <laughs> He's 50% off. You know, like if we're talking about stocking things for people. He pales in comparison to him. I've never seen you so excited. <laughs> Well, because I just always wanted one, but they're always so much money. So does he do something if you... No, they're just cool. You tickle his butt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll crack nuts for you. Wait, is he going to be too... He'll be too big for our living room, won't he? Why would he... I was going to put it next to the fireplace, but he's probably too big. You put it on the piano. Or in the hallway. In the, on the piano? Yeah. You'd reach the ceiling. Well, now you want the big one, don't you? No, is it like? I'm not sure. Let's just get this one then. Yeah? Maybe. Hello. Stop. Happy Christmas. Present for secret person has been bought, and so has the nutcrackers. Yeah, I think your dad will like that. No. <laughs> you got, I'm not going to leave that in. I have to bleep it out. We're going to Asda now to get our last remaining bits, and then home. Oh no! You need to do the plastic. Shall I go uh, in and you do the plastic? Oh yeah, give me the key. Haha. <laughs> okay, so Asda for more budget friendly, they have an amazing selection. So we've just picked up these smoked salmon, which is what we came for. But they've oh, got those things up there. Whoop, they've got a whole turkey. Can you open it for me? And it looks like a turkey. <laughs> Look at it, it's like a mini turkey in there. And then they've got a mushroom Wellington. They've got brie bites. Oh my god, should we get these? Going have silly. To, no, I have to get them. And then they've got the mushroom pigs in blankets. We've already got those though. Oh my god, they've got cranberry and orange sage. This is almost better because it was a whole packet. The ones in M&S had half stuffing, half sausage. Huh? You got that. The trimming one, yeah. And then they've got a roast beef. Oh, wow. Crazy. Really great selection and they're all good price. One thing I will say actually is that Asda has one of the best free from sections in terms of they sell Pippa Nut, Rhythm 108, Love Raw, these, um, Mighty Fine Vegan Honeycomb, have a larger selection than most I feel like. Right, so I'm back from Asda and M&S and I thought I'd show you all the fun vegan things that we bought for Christmas. Obviously keep in mind we've got Riverford coming and for Riverford I think we've got, I'll put on screen, we've got a organic veg box or fruit and veg box, I think. Salad box, a coleslaw kit, and I think that's it. Basically the, oh yeah, and a nut roast. Basically the, the Christmas dinner is coming from Riverford. And then we've got um, some vegan cheese coming from the vegan kind. And then this is our kind of like snacks. I've gone a bit overboard. I always do <laughs> because I love my family and also because I wanted to share it with you and I couldn't resist. I wanted to share with you the, the different like bits that we could, you could get from M&S Asda. We kind of did a video like this thing a couple years ago where we went through and tasted some of the Christmas foods. Um, I'm not gonna taste this because we're gonna eat this for Christmas, but let me show you what we got from M&S. So we picked up two packets of the vegan pigs in blankets. And I just know these are gonna be so good because the plant kitchen is probably my favorite range of vegan stuff because their fake meats are so realistic and their, um, their food is always very good. It's always delicious. So we've got two of those. And then we got their little oriental selection pack. Got two of these because Alex's family loves this kind of thing. It was not something I ever really had growing up, I don't think. Um, that's another thing when you're like catering to different families, different families have different traditions. I don't think we ever had any canapes. I think that between breakfast and Christmas dinner, we just had maybe some chocolate and some crisps or nuts. I don't think we ever had canapes. We just waited till Christmas dinner was, was ready. Um, so that's just a slight, slight difference. Um, then we've got the vegan garnish selection pack, which is gonna be perfect to have with our main meal. The little sausages, I think that I'm not gonna, well, no, me as well, yeah. I feel like that would be quite nice with the vegan meal, uh, the roast. But I got two packets again, one for Boxing Day, one for Christmas Day, and the same goes for the pigs and blankets. I'll do one Boxing Day, one Christmas Day. And then we also got, I feel like, I don't know why we only got one packet of this, because there's two, I feel like this was something that just ended up in the basket and I don't understand why. We, okay, so we got two no pork sausage rolls. Alex forgot about an entire bag in the car. I said to him to unpack the car. You just can't trust men to do things, can you ladies? I did look at this and think that's not, we bought quite a lot in M&S. I'm 
I'm confused. Yes, look, the sausage rolls. I knew it. Right, so we've got a few packets. The point I think of this was that there was a sausage roll for everyone. And then we got the vegan pigs in duvets selection pack that we can have Boxing Day. Maybe even I might have some this week because it's the lead up to Christmas. So I might, I might have one of these this week as like, or maybe on Christmas Eve when we're like prepping. Yes, that would be perfect. And then this is a great choice if you don't want to cook a nut roast or a wellington if you just want a meat alternative they've got their stuffed vegan turkey joint this is quite small but i thought it was perfect to have alongside the nut roast that we've ordered and this serves four people so that's quite good um it's with pea protein joint stuffed with cranberry and chestnut and it just looks delicious but you also saw the ones that we looked at in asda we've got a variety of crisps these are all vegan ones so um lightly sea salted of course <laughs> Uh, these are my favourites, sea salt and cracked black pepper, salt and vinegar, and another salt and vinegar, and then a sweet chilli, and then I got some nuts, Alex's brother loves pistachios, so I've got some pistachios, and then I got these cocktail nut mix, which sounds like it's going to be like sweet and salty, for our nut selection. We've got some Percy pigs, because these are my favourite, and I just want them over Christmas, and Alex got his Merry Percymus ones. Uh, so I'm not allowed to open those. I think I might put those in our stockings. We got some sweets from Asda as well, some chocolates. I think I'm gonna put all those in our stockings. And then we got these because these are accidentally vegan. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I'm looking on the back, they put everything in bold and normally the tins of uh, crackers aren't vegan because they have the cheese ones in there and then the Hovis like the wheat, the digestive ones aren't vegan, they've got milk in. So if you are vegan and you're hosting or whatever, then go check out MS's Biscuits for Cheese because they actually are accidentally vegan. So I've got two packets of that. I'm kind of paranoid that's not gonna be enough. Hopefully it will be. And then we've got an orange juice for mimosas in the morning. That's everything from MS. That seems like a lot of food, but there's a lot of us. It's just the way it is. <laughs> So we've got from Asda their smoked no salmon, which I'm really intrigued about. I hope that this is good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the pan au chocolat cooked as well, just in case, and if um, this isn't that nice, or maybe I'll just try it on the morning. Yeah, we'll have this one morning with bagels and cream cheese, and we've got our vegan cream cheese coming. So I've got the sesame ones from New York Bakery and the original ones. These and cream cheese and We'll check if anyone doesn't want that. We can make toast or I can make croissants. And then we've got the Just Roll Pan au Chocolat. Like I said, these and the croissants and the cinnamon rolls are all accidentally vegan. Perfect thing to have in the freezer at all times. So if you've got people coming over, you can just whip them out and you've got fresh baked breakfasts. And then I got this OMV Merrily Vegan Parsnip with Porcini Mushroom Wreath. Not gonna have this on Christmas day, but I think this could be a good thing to have on Christmas Eve or on Saturday. Like something in the lead up, kind of along with those um, pigs in duvets, that's festive and it doesn't mean I have to cook if I'm prepping and stuff. I thought that I could have that at the weekend. Then we're going out to eat on Saturday. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we should have this on Saturday. That would be delicious. And then we got these because I couldn't resist. I got a bit carried away in Asda. Uh, breaded brie alternative wedges, which sound delicious. And then Alex got these, like I said, I think this was his sort of family's tradition of having um, the canapes with the Indian style snack selection and the no prawn platter. And then we got loads of dips because actually they are in date for Christmas. So we've got no sour cream and chive from the OMV range, two of those. We've got original hummus, pesto hummus and harissa hummus. It's probably way too much hummus, but you never know. Um, red pepper and tomato salsa. These are just dips for crisps. Um, and yeah, they'll get eaten because I feel like over Christmas, I don't really want to go food shopping. I want to just be set. <laughs> and then I got some things for our stockings. Me and Alex have got a stocking above the fireplace. I'm not going to put them in there <laughs> until Christmas Eve because we'll probably light the fire. But these are my favourite, um, chocolates. Honestly, I think they're actually my favourite vegan chocolates. I just love them. They are honeycomb and the milk chocolate is delicious and I will eat an entire packet in one sitting, they're that good. These are mighty fine, and I'm gonna put one in each of our stockings. And then we've got the Love Raw wafers. These are so good. 
These were from Asda as well. A Nomo caramel bar. These taste very much like Cadbury's caramels that you get in roses tins or just the bars. So they'll be perfect for that. And then the caramel nougat chockey bar. So I'll, I'll put all of those in our stockings um, the night before and maybe me and Alex can open those together. And then I got the OMV Merrily Vegan Miso and Mushroom Gravy. Don't think everyone will have this because I feel like half of the group don't like mushrooms, but I've got normal gravy for them. And this gravy for probably me and my dad and my mum. My mum will have, she'll have something different. Anyway, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you're having for Christmas or if you found anything particularly good in any of the other supermarkets like in Tesco or Sainsbury's or Waitrose or Lidl or Aldi. Let us know in the comments down below because it might help some of the people out there catering or hosting Christmas. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. I'm definitely becoming like my mum as someone who overcompensates at Christmas time and buys way too much food. And maybe you're all gonna judge me, but <laughs> I, like I said, I also kind of wanted to share this with you because it's interesting. I know that you will love that video that we did. Was it last year or was it the year before? Maybe it was last year. I find it very interesting. And um, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, I've gone overboard. But then I, maybe I haven't. Maybe I haven't. Maybe at Christmas time I'll be like, that was the perfect amount of food because there's a lot of us and you don't want to be hungry, do you? Anyway, I will see you in tomorrow's video. I'm going to end it there, put everything away and get excited and yeah. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.